um, they said, well, you have to stop by the Bonneville Dam. And I'm like, well, I'm like, that I've seen dams. Kind of the Hoover Dam was kind of lame. <laughs> the like, Hoover oh, Dam is cool. It was lame. But Bonneville Dam, I, you know. I had no expectations <laughs> for it. But then they're like, well, there's a living dinosaur fish. And I was like, okay. <laughs> yes. Something the Hoover Dam does not have. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of No Tears Frontiers. In this series, we travel all over the world on our KTM 1190 motorcycle. We ride two up and we post our video diaries here for you to enjoy, enjoy the ride. Enjoy, hopefully, indeed. Thanks for riding along with us. In the last episode, we had just made it to Portland, Oregon. And we had an amazing time with our friend Maddie going on McKinsey Pass. We've yeah. seen all of these snow-capped mountains. There is a bunny over there. Do you see it? Yeah, I do. <laughs> hey, oh. hey, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it was just in our tent, which was amazingly cute. But next, we wanted to go to Moscow Moto Land. Dun, 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 dun. They are a motorcycle luggage and apparel company that we've loved for years and years and years, and they are headquartered out of White Sam in Washington. We wanted to take, as we usually do, more of the detour route to get there and go around Mount Hood. I'm really excited because there's a bunny in our tent. Yeah, there's a bunny jumping around yeah. our tent. <laughs> Back to you. Focus is on you guys. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So we headed on our way to uh, White Salmon. Good morning. I'm at my good friend Maddie's house. He's over here. And today we're going to go around Mount Hood um, to White Salmon. And I hear it's a beautiful area, right? It is. Yeah, the whole gorge is gorgeous. And lots of waterfalls. <laughs> One side's uh, mossy and green covered, and the other side's, uh, you know, it's right on the Columbia River, so it's, yeah, it's pretty oh, spectacular. Nice. Yep, very excited. And we're gonna go to the headquarters of Moscow Moto. But it is very sad to say goodbye to Maddie. <laughs> oh. So the overall plan for Mount Hood here is to go up squiggly line to the left, try to get a cool view, and then retreat back down squiggly line number two. So that is Mount Hood in the distance. There she is. Yeah, wow, gorgeous. Damn. come to Mount Hood. It's so beautiful with so much snow on it. Such a perfect peak. 
and I just don't think there's a, a non-beautiful ride in the area, but... So true. There's so many white-capped mountains out there, but I think Mount Hood really stands out because it's just so conical, and it's like yeah. this super See, jagged me, peak. Yeah, it should be like Mount Peak, right? I guess the hood of it is the hood of snow, but like... I never thought of that. I thought it was like a person's name. Like Hood, you know, is, is this nice rounded shape. Yeah, you're right. You, will, you know, and then, you know, the the peak, the cone head. Maybe it's look. like a monk hood, you know, like that kind of has Maybe, a peak yeah, to yeah, it. I get it. All right. All right. We'll <laughs> in the middle. You don't have a monk hood to display though, so. I do not. This is true. <laughs> but we'll just agree that it would betterly have been named Mount Peak. Betterly, absolutely. Betterly. <laughs> I don't know what mountain that is. But that's the mountain. And then here's the motor scooter. Awesome scenery. And then boom, Mount Hood. Finally, we got so close to Mount Hood that it wasn't like this looming mountain in the distance. It was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, it still does look like there's uh, like glaciers up there, but I don't know. I don't know mountains enough. I think a lot of people here are going hiking. Yeah, but like enough snow to snowboard, and then look at all these little purple things. There's some people with snowboards, so yeah. apparently somebody's doing it. There, there's the ski lift, uh -huh. and there's all the people at the parking lot um, going off snowboarding and stuff. Which is crazy. It is crazy because, and I'm not a skier or a snowboarder, so I don't know, but it didn't seem like it had that much snow on it. It yeah. still definitely had snow on it, but it's the height of summer. Um, so I'm sure the season is waning down, but there were still a lot of people out there yeah. snowboarding and skiing, which is pretty cool. So our ride around Mount Hood was already turning out to be fantastic. We continue around it as we make our way towards White Salmon. Now a curvy, windy road back down and off to Moscow Moto. White salmon is technically in the state of Washington. I hadn't quite realized this, but the Columbia River divides Oregon and Washington. So it is right on the border there. You just have to cross the bridge, which had a little toll yeah. to it. A dollar toll. A dollar toll for motorcycles. Yeah. Not bad. And uh, then all of a sudden you're in Washington. And yeah, but that bridge is one of those great ones, right? Not great oh, as in like yeah. fantastic, but like the... I really don't like it on motorcycles. The tires that I have, and I think on every bike I've ever had, they, they kind of... Mm -hmm. They kind of drift. But if it was wet, it would suck. Alright. Did it. So when we got to White Salmon, it's a cute little mountain town, and we pulled into the downtown area where Moscow Moto is headquartered. This is White Salmon in Washington. It's a beautiful town. And we see right away the Moscow logo in the building. It's this cool kind of running lizard thing. And I always liked their logo, but I never knew why it was their logo or why it was named Moscow Moto. But once we got in, we got to ask all of our questions. They took us into the showroom and yeah. then they took us on a tour. We saw super secret stuff that we can't tell anybody. Yes, we weren't allowed to so film that. So exciting. <laughs> Hello. And they told us the history behind the name and the logo. So Moscow Moto has only been around for 
almost ten years. 10 years. It's a ten year anniversary coming up. Yeah, isn't so that congrats. crazy? Yeah. It's such a new corporation, but it's gone super global and it's just been exponential in its growth. I think a lot of that has to do with Pete and Ash, Being who awesome. are just amazing human beings, and uh, Pete founded it, and Ash is just great. The personality of the company really comes through. Behind the name is that Pete had once been on a trip in Honduras, and there's like the Mosquito Coast of Honduras, and so he named the company after the Mosquito Coast, and that's Moscow. These are the... Yeah. Oh, they have like a duffel thing. And then the little lizard was, uh, they, they run around that part of Honduras. Yeah. So, so yeah, we can name something after mosquitoes. <laughs> if we're camping tonight. There's, there's awesome. No need to go all the way to Honduras. You just go to these woods. No, I feel like this is Mosquito Coast as well. <laughs> yeah, for sure. The the staff and the other employees there are just attacked by nature. Oh you here, guys. Oh my God. Woo, could have been me. All the year, all the time. Go, helmet, yeah. Go put on your helmet. <laughs> and there's the Bates Moat Hotel that uh, we stayed at, which was awesome. are the flat areas and then that's the main tent that we can hang out in. So this is Moscow camp. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it. The lizard and the wood. And then check out the Desert Lizard Lounge. Whoa! They have a whole kitchen over here. How awesome is this? It's a Moscow affiliated um, motorcycle camp area. Um, if you're interested in it, they said to contact customer service. It yeah. was awesome. Beautiful landscape out there. The forests were just green and lush, but the sun was out and strong. And in the shade, it was the perfect temperature. There was a perfect little level place for us to camp. And we set up in the grasses, and the sun was setting and hitting those grasses to make them look all golden. And there were wildflowers everywhere. Oh, I loved it there. Good morning. Today, we are in Washington. I just wanted to show you this gorgeous view that I woke up to right outside my tent. Beautiful, isn't it? Today we're going to be headed along the Columbia River Gorge between Oregon and Washington, and then we're going to hopefully get to Olympic National Park in Washington. So um, everyone says it rains there every day. We'll see what happens to us. <laughs> and I had shipped some tires to Moscow Moto's uh, headquarters, HQ. HQ. <laughs> New tires. Ooh. Front and rear. Look at that. Yeah, there was a tire shop around the corner, so the next morning I had to get up and swap out some tires, and so now the the motor scooter's got some new tread on her. Uh, Which is always good. I love the little fuzzy nubby thingies that stick out of it. I just made an oil change. I just made one, right? Yep. And, uh, <laughs> so that's check off the list. So we were prepped and excited and, and ready to go. Next on our list was to see the coast and explore Olympic National Park. Of course, yes. Now in order to get there from White Salmon, Washington, there is the Columbia River Gorge. Mm -hmm. And everyone at Moscow Moto was like, you can't miss it. And they also said that there's a pretty oh, cool yeah. stop. Um, they said, well, you have to stop by the Bonneville Dam. And I'm like, well, 
I'm like, that I've seen Dam. Kind of the Hoover Dam was kind of lame. <laughs> you know, like, Hoover even, Dam is cool. It was lame. But Bonneville Dam, I, you know. I have no expectations for it. <laughs> but then they're like, well, there's a living dinosaur fish. And I was like, okay. <laughs> yes. I don't think the Hoover Dam does not have dinosaur fish. So it piqued our interest, and we headed off to Bonneville Dam. is huge. We'd yeah. also been warned that it can be quite windy along the road. So there's roads on bad. both sides. Yeah, it wasn't bad, but I could see how the wind benefited all the wind surfers oh, who yeah, were out I on know, the river. Crazy, right? Mount Hood again, or Mount Peak as I call it, was, you know, <laughs> uh, in the distance, and then all these crazy cats windsurfing in the, so cool. in the Columbia River, and I'm just like, wow. If Pulling I ever top. am walking on the street and trip over a pile of like $300 million, oh, yeah. I'm going to buy a house in every state in the Pacific <laughs> Northwest and the West, <laughs> yeah. and I'm going to have my own moto camps, and you're all yeah. invited. That's right. <laughs> so, pre-invite. <laughs> As we made our way along the gorge, which was gorgeous. Oh, I knew it. I felt it coming. <laughs> I felt it coming, folks. We finally arrived at the Bonneville Dam. Center to the Bonneville Dam, which is along the Columbia River between Oregon and Washington. And apparently they have a really large fish here. A dinosaur. Yes. A real life dinosaur. First we went into the dam area and you get to see where the fish go along the fish ladder to bypass the dam, just like they would naturally. Yeah, somewhat naturally. They've, somewhat naturally, yeah. yeah. They've recreated an, an offshoot, a, a go around, a detour. Exactly, because it's very important for the fish's spawning cycle yeah. to be able to get through the river. And so putting a dam there obviously obstructs that. Yeah. So this is the fish ladder for all the salmon, trout, and other fish to bypass the dam in a somewhat more natural way. But they've created this whole passageway for the fish and you get to see them swim by. I was struck by how strong the fish have to swim in order to get through that current. Yeah. And they don't get to just sleep at night. No. You know, they have to swim, swim, swim all the time. Yeah. Well, you gotta edit it out. You're picking my ear. <laughs> they just have to swim, swim, swim all the time. It's relentless. Yeah, I'm gonna interrupt you because the fish were like, ooh, fish, right? The and fish were cool. The viewing window. The fish were <laughs> fish, right? And they were cool to see. But there were these nightmare yes. sucker fish from Alien <laughs> that have now transformed into a different breed. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, oh, anybody yeah. want to see something disgusting? Yeah, that's a <laughs> lamprey eel. Yeah, I don't like it. Oh my that goodness, is something look out of my nightmares. Now. They are prized by the Native Americans. They're... As food. Yep, thank oh. God. Not as pets. Yeah, look at all the fish pets. back here. They were it was disgusting. All I see, I thought there was like plastic stuck in the in the something, and all I see is this flapping. Yeah, I was like, oh, there's garbage in there. Yeah, and then upon closer dis inspection, it's a tail, and the the sucker head of it eel. is a sucker eel death oh. fish. And like the worst part about it is they're sucking to the glass, right? But you can see inside of their mouth, oh my which goes straight as like a tube throughout their body. They're like giant leeches. They're giant but they tube have worms. Teeth. 
Yes, and beaks and, and tongues like a tongue? and an eye. Like all the things that a lot yeah. of creatures have, but this is <laughs> in the worst nightmarish <laughs> format. Just, oh my god, it's a nightmare. Stranger Things. Oh. This is where they got the idea. I'm just glad it lives in this river that I am not going to be part of that ecosystem anytime soon. It they is. were like giant leeches. All I could think about was... Not a giant leech, it was a giant <laughs> kill you nightmare Yeah, thing. like what if that thing sucked onto me? Oh, I would never ever go in water again, <laughs> ever. I will. I don't. I don't even know if I'll take a bath. And there it's wasn't just like one of them. There were so yeah. many. They hung out in posse's. It, we, yeah. They made a no soliciting sign on the window <laughs> because then, like, we saw like four or five of them. Like, you know, and I was like, that we creeped out. Is just awful. Yes. And then we went to the next viewing window, and here's this little gang. Yeah. Street gang, West Side Story style, of just <laughs> hanging out all, and they're all in the current, and for some reason they like lock on to the same. In the same direction. And so it's just this. Oh, it's, it's unnatural. After the Freakazoid fish, we had another fish to see. Oh yeah. He was in a slightly different area, but very close. So we got on the motorcycle, went over there. This is where the fish hatchery is. So this is a fish hatchery. And they have kept this fish there called Herman. And he is Herman the sturgeon. He's a sturgeon. That's right. Which kind of looks like... A big, giant, radioactive catfish. That's right. Like, this was a stop we would not have taken if it wasn't for the fine folk over at Moscomoto, because... That's right, we wouldn't have I known. don't pull over at dams. Like, it's not, <laughs> not on my to-do list. I had no idea that Herman existed. Yes. And that fish even got to be that big in rivers. He was 80 years old, 500 yep. pounds, 10 foot long. Yep, almost reaching 11 feet long. Okay, okay. Crazy. It was really cool. You got to see him from the tank that's under the water. So him swimming by the glass. Yeah. And he would look you right in the eye. And then you could go above his um, pool. And it was a beautiful area that they kept him in. Yeah. And uh, It was yeah, nice and large, because obviously he was a large fish. Yeah. Um, you know, but they look like freaking dolphins from above, you know? I Absolutely. Mean, not, not dolphin, but dolphin size. Yeah. Because, yeah, they're not as pretty. You look at dolphins like, oh, that's a pretty creature. And you look at Herman, <laughs> or whatever his name was. Herman was beautiful. Herman was beautiful in his own way. <laughs> in his very unique way. These squid sucky monster things, they were not beautiful. They were not beautiful. Anyway. There's no whatsoever. way they were beautiful. No. Mm -mm. It was like Herman and the monsters. There's like, yeah, he, he had, had his two pals. friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. So, no, it was, it was all in all turning out to be a good day which was totally unexpected because all we had on our list was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> so we got back on the bike. Hi, what's your name? She, her name's Lily. Lily. She's been chowing on that tree, it must be something good. Mm. You're so cute. Yeah. Oh, soft as velvet. She's, 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 oh, she's gonna have my, that's oh, friendly. Yes. She had about you, that's yes. very friendly. As we made our way, from Bonneville Dam to the coast, we had to go around the city of Portland. So our end goal was to get to Olympic National Park, where we wanted to just find a dispersed camp spot. But, as we had been told, it rains pretty much every day at yeah. Olympic National Park. And there was this huge bridge to yeah. get over there. Bridge of the, of the higher gods. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but it was Massive. massively high. You just see it arcing up and over yeah. like a, a kid's interpretation of what a bridge should be like. And it's like, well, actually, with physics involved, that wouldn't work. And then here it is. <laughs> here it is. Here's, yeah, that's you know. right. 
it's like a, a, a roller coaster. You have to mm -hmm. go around like this little loop to even get a good angle to... Right, you have to go up the arc. <laughs> it was nuts. <laughs> And thank God it wasn't one of those great bridges because yeah. that, you know, and we can see like these looming clouds in the distance. Yes. I wouldn't say I was like scared, but like <laughs> I was, I was, was like nervous. I was like, wow, this is, this is pretty high up. And then you see this like high gust area and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> whoa, man, of course, because we're 4,000 feet in the air. What are we getting ourselves yeah. into? So that is the end of our episode. I hope you liked it. If you did and if you enjoy watching our channel and riding around the world with us, then please give us a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. Ding, ding, ding. And we'll be seeing you next time. Stay safe, everybody. Bye. Peace. Oh, there's a woodpecker. Oh my gosh, we are being surrounded no. by wildlife. We are oh, like, can see. not Cinderella, but which Disney princess? Snow White. Snow White, there's a bunny <laughs> over there. I know, over there. they're just coming around. Yeah, mosquitoes you got everywhere. Beauty and the Beast, oh. this is the Disney movie, <laughs> in the making. Hey dude. Stop <laughs> chasing